How to use Bitcoin Gold with Ledger. Here I am on Ledger's Twitter page. Here you can see Bitcoin Gold support on Ledger is available. More information at the link. Warning. The network and explorers are not reliable at all. Ledger declines any responsibility and doesn't guarantee anything regarding BTG support. Above it says, we have pushed a fix regarding BTC SegWit signatures on the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin Chrome app version 1.9.10. BTG SegWit is still having issues. So remember that if you're going to use a BTG SegWit address. I'll go to the help page, how to use Bitcoin Gold with Ledger. Bitcoin Gold Network is now available and BTG transactions are supported by Ledger. To enable Bitcoin Gold, make sure that you have the latest Ledger Wallet Bitcoin Chrome app installed, version 1.9.9. .9. And we can see now they're actually at 1.9.10. It should be upgraded automatically, so you shouldn't have to do anything. Then you must install the Bitcoin Gold app through the Ledger Manager. So first, make sure you have Ledger Wallet Bitcoin Chrome app, version 1.9.9 .9 or above. To check this, just open up the Bitcoin Wallet app. Once it's open, go to settings, and in the bottom left hand corner you'll see the version. I'm on version 1.9.10 already, so that's fine. I'll close the wallet. The next step is make sure your Nano S firmware is version 1.3.1. .1. You can check this on your Nano S. I'll go to settings, device, firmware, and you can see secure element 1.3.1, .1, so that's good. I'll back out of here. Next, install the Bitcoin Gold app on your device through the Ledger Manager. So I'll open Ledger Manager. At the bottom of the Ledger Manager apps, we can see Bitcoin Gold. I'll click on the down arrow, install it. I'll allow Ledger Manager on my Ledger by pressing the button and it will install the Bitcoin Gold application on my ledger. Now it's installed. The next step is to launch the Bitcoin Gold app on your ledger device. On my ledger I'll switch to Bitcoin Gold, press both buttons. That will open up my Bitcoin Gold wallet. Now I can choose Legacy or SegWit, and I don't want to actually do that yet. I want to go down to the bottom where it says BTG Split Tool. I'm going to click on the BTG Split Tool because I had a little bit of Bitcoin on here before the fork. The BTG Split Tool pops up and says to split your BTG, you have to send all the funds present in both the accounts below to your BTG receiving address. So all I actually have to do is click on Legacy or SegWit in order to send the funds from those wallets. So I'll go ahead and click on Legacy because my Bitcoin was in my Legacy account. My wallet's now synchronizing. It's now splitting my tokens for me. Now it's done, my wallet's open. You can see I have a very small BTG balance of 1.616.08598. So I'm going to go ahead and send this BTG out of here. I'm on hit BTC here. I'll go to deposit. And you can see Bitcoin Gold here. So I'm going to click on the deposit icon. That gives me my BTG address to send BTG to the exchange. So I'll go back to my wallet, click on send, click on max to send everything, paste the wallet address in there, and then click on send. It's preparing the transaction. Verifying the transaction.
And now I'll confirm the transaction on my ledger by pressing the button under the check mark. I can check the amount and the address on my ledger. Done. Now it's finalizing the transaction. And sending succeeded. So my BTG will eventually get onto the exchange. It did take about an hour and 15 minutes, about an hour and a half, something in between there, to actually get it on the exchange. The first confirmation took about an hour, a very, very long time to get a con even just one confirmation on my BTG transfer. Very slow. But eventually, as you can see, it did get onto the exchange. It was eventually confirmed. So I'll transfer this into my trading account. Now it's in my trading account. I'll click on go to trading. And here I can trade it. I can trade it for some USDT if I want. If I don't want USDT, I'll just trade it for some Bitcoin. Some real Bitcoin. None of this Bitcoin gold stuff. So I'll click on BTC under instruments. I'll check the prices. I'll click on the top buy price. And then I'll click on my balance so that I sell all of my BTG. I'm going to change the buy price. I'll change it to 0 0.01819 and then I'll click on sell limit and see if it sells So I have sold most of it, it's partially filled, I just have a little bit left, 0 0.055 BTG. Since it's so little, I'll just go and cancel my sell order, and I'll just get rid of this little bit, I'll take the top buy, click sell limit. Could have also just sold at market, but it will be filled soon enough. There we go. Order filled. My BTG is gone. I don't have to worry about BTG anymore. So that's how you use BTG with your ledger. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.